Hi, I'm Jim Love, CIO of IT World Canada, and this is one of my favorite things to do. I'm going to get a sneak preview of Windows 10. Now, this is an early preview. The things you see on here, no guarantees they're going to turn up in the, in the production version, but we're going to see some interesting things that Microsoft is working on, and this is from the Gartner Symposium 2014, the IT Expo. I'm going to be talking with Jeffrey Schomper. He's going to give us a little bit of a demo of sneak preview of Windows 10. Can you just walk me through a little bit of the interface and, and, and sure. the principles of what we've got? Happy, happy to show you what's going on. What we're showing off today is our Windows Technical Preview. We've released this last week. Uh, it's our, our Technical Preview release showing you some of the new features that are in Windows 10. It's a free download for anybody. You can participate in an insider program and even give Microsoft a little bit of feedback. Um, enough with that, let me jump in and show you what's going on. You'll find that a lot of the features, the improvements, the changes that we've made for Windows 10 are designed to address a couple different areas. They're designed to address, um, make it more friendly for mouse and keyboard users without losing any of the functionality of touch and making it more familiar for people who uh, are, know how to use the XP or the Windows 7 interface. So much of this, what I'm talking about, comes together in that we've brought back the start button. We've got back the start button that behaves much like a start button. Yay! As you've Sorry. seen it in the past. You know, we've talked about this was, was this whole idea of making that transition. A lot of us found that the, the intermediate version is quite difficult to make the transition to. I don't want to say because we're old, but we just things are familiar. So right. the start button's back. We've gotten a lot of cheers from other people at the show, just like the one that uh, you had for us right now. So this, what I'm showing right here, will look very familiar to a Windows 7 user. We've got uh, a list of the most frequently used applications. This is all customized. Users can come in here and, and move these around. We can add different, uh, different programs to the list, customize it just like we did before. Jump lists are, are back with um, showing you the different files and options that are available within each of these. Um, there's more. The, the, search, the search pane is back and it's back in a familiar spot, um, right where it was with Windows 7 or with Windows XP. Um, also the, the power button to sh do the shutdown or um, sign off of the PC is all back here onto the start menu in familiar spots to a Windows 7 user. So we still go start to stop it. Just we all, we all crabbed about that, now we, all, now we all want it back. Let's see what happens here. Um, it, the, uh, you know, I guess uh, start button, we'll call it the start button. It doesn't say start on it anymore. We've got the Windows logo. We just click up to an icon that looks like a power icon, and this gives us the sleep, shutdown, or restart. So we don't actually say the start in, in any of these features here. Um, there's more, right? So that's just half of it. You see, we call this the start menu. Imagine that we've taken the whole Windows 8 start screen and now included in the start menu. So you'll see the other half of this is loaded with a, a tile-based interface. And this will be very familiar for the people that have been using Windows 8. I can take any of these icons, I can move it around, I can customize it, I can resize the different icons just like I used to do on my start screen. I can turn my live tiles on or off if I, if I want those constant updates or if I, if I want to um, maybe reduce a little bit of clutter, I can reduce the size for these different applications. So this is a nice bridge between the list and the tile interface. This is, this is, what, this is what I needed. Uh, we think it's all of the functionality of, of Windows 8, but in a, a much more friendly type of environment. Again, used with mouse or keyboard, or for the folks that have learned Windows 7 or learned the traditional Windows interfaces, they're going to find something here that looks very familiar to them. Great. What's next? There's more than I can show you, and, and more things that we've done to, to address those different points. Um, if you look at this, it, it looks very much like our new modern interface, but we're serving up all of the different applications here. Not just the, the modern apps, but our traditional apps can be launched from the start menu as well. So if I launch Word here, this is one of the traditional desktop applications, and you'd get exactly what you'd expect. Uh, I've got a window that pops up here that I can resize. I've got my minimize, maximize, or close out icons on the top of a nav bar here. Um, but let's look what happens when I launch a modern application here. Um, here's an example of a modern app. If I launch that, again, it launches in a window. And on, I can resize this just like I resized my traditional application. And I get a nav bar, minimize, maximize, restore. I can just close that down to the taskbar if I want. So what, what I'm really showing you here, remember there was criticism of Windows 8 for 
two different types of interfaces and it felt very different when you were in one or the other. Now we've literally got them side by side, interact them with touch or keyboard exactly as you interact with the other. It's predictable and you can understand what you do. You build your habits on it, That's which makes you more efficient actually. There's a few more things I'd like to show to you that have been built into the Windows preview. Let me just open up a few more files. You know, imagine a traditional type of situation where I've got many different files open up on my desktop. These are both modern applications as well as traditional Word or Excel files that I've got. So, you know, a nice, busy, somewhat cluttered desktop. Our snap feature has been so popular in Windows 7 and Windows 8, so we made some functionality improvements to that. Let me show you what we can do. I'll take one of the files that I'm working on, move to the right, same interface as before, and I snap it to the right side of the screen. Now the new thing that's happened is all of the other files that are open on my desktop go to a preview mode. You know, the, the notion being the user is want, has snapped something to the right side of the screen, they want to fill up the, the left side of the real estate, go ahead and tap any one of the, the elements on there. We'll go with this one, the traditional app, and it fills up the second half of the screen. So we've, we've easily, we've made it very easy to do with that, but we don't have to stop there. What if we wanted more than two applications open? If I drag and then push up, I've gone into a quadrant snap, and I can go grab another one and fill the lower left quadrant. And if technical preview will allow me, yep, here we go. We can even snap uh, all four quadrants of our screen and use up all of the real estate just like that. And all you're really basically doing is moving them around, it's making auto adjustments for you. Now I'm going to ask the question, I don't like that, can I change that? The, sure, remember these are all windows, so if I, just, if I grab one of these, I can just pull it off and, and interact with it just like a traditional window. Fabulous. Uh, a few more points that, to make about Windows 10. Um, Microsoft's strategy is, is to develop this one operating system and use it across all of our different form factors. So from the largest uh, display type of touch base interface um, way down to uh, a tablet device, uh, even phone, even Internet of Things, we'll, um, Windows 10 will be the operating system for all of those different uh, form factors. So one, one operating system, one experience, any form factor. Right, and for sure the, the experience would be tailored to the different screen sizes, but what this means for developers is it's the same set of kernel, the same set of drivers, the same development tools to develop applications and solutions across all of those different form factors. For IT managers, it's the same set of management tools, so we make it really easy to, to address all of the different devices that are out there. Now Microsoft is making this demo preview available to limited users, particularly corporate or the technically sophisticated. Don't try this at home, don't put it on your main machines, but you can download it and we'll post a link for that.